This is Dr. David coming to you from Montreal, Canada, and this is the Retina Hot Mic Case Series from iCare PD, where the PD stands for Professional Development. I'm going to be showing you today a case of an 83-year-old patient who presented to me for a routine follow-up, and what you'll notice is uh, the change over time. Let's just quickly orient to the dates. We've got 2014, 2016, and 2019 in terms of the time frame. And very quickly looking at the maps here on the OCT, you'll notice a little bit of blue, a little bit of thinning. Mm, not much change, but wow, there, there's a lot more. If you look down below, you actually get your answer as to what's going on with this patient. This is a patient with age-related macular degeneration and geographic atrophy. And what you really want to do is watch, I'm going to scroll through, you really want to be watching the ellipsoid zone and seeing what happens to it because that's one of the most important areas to watch when you're assessing for geographic atrophy. Let's scroll through there. I'm going to go up, up, up. Where is that ellipsoid zone? It's gone. There, there is no ellipsoid zone in this area. You can see here this hyperreflectivity, this transmission defect. Basically, you see the increased reflectivity because you've got additional loss of the underlying RPE, so you're getting more light from the OCT actually shining through and imaging the deeper structures. Very common in substantive areas of geographic atrophy, ellipsoid zone loss, RPE loss, this hyperreflective transmission area below. So again, this is geographic atrophy, and if we just scroll around a bit, heading back towards the fovea, there you go. Now you can see the ellipsoid zones reconstituted. But if you look at this patient over time, you'll see that uh, here the ellipsoid zone is okay within the fovea, but you're already starting to get a little bit more changes just to the temporal aspect here, right here. And if we scroll around again, you can see substantive geographic atrophy. And then finally looking at the 2019 date, going back towards the fovea, you can really not find much ellipsoid zone here. I can tell you that uh, it won't always correlate initially with vision. This patient was still 2040 in this eye, so there's probably something there that we just can't quite pick up. But certainly by OCT, you can tell that there's ellipsoid zone loss. There's a lot of atrophy throughout, and here as well is an outer retinal tubulation. That's what that circular structure is right there. And easily on the map you can tell that the area of geographic atrophy is expanded. Just for the sake of interest, we'll take a look at the fellow eyes, see what happened, and uh, you can pretty much see the same story here. You've got an expansion of the extent of the geographic atrophy over time as you look from 2014, looking at the map, all the way out to 2019. Well, as usual with OCTs, this is very interesting stuff. And this is Dr. David signing off, and I am always learning.